Particular, you'd like to go for lunch, Charlie? Lunch is on me today, Dick. Let's go to the largest club in the world. Oh, you mean the Noontime Club? No, a larger club than that. Largest club in the world? Huh? I don't get it. But here's my car. Let's get in. Okay. Well, how was it? It was swell. But I still don't get this largest club in the world business. You will in a minute. Just look at the screen. <laughs> Drivers are the squeeze people. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Lou, but don't forget the heedless pedestrians. They're kind of screwy, too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All brothers under the tin. <laughs> I've got my hands full with a screwdriver, and you got the screwy pedestrians or screw jays. That's what they are, screw jays. <laughs> you got them, and you're stuck with them. Ah, here's the drivers. That's my department. Where are they coming from? Who are they? Everybody's there. Everybody's driving cars these days. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick. <laughs> Even you and me. Come on, let's get down to cases. Let's take any driver. In other words, Mr. Anybody. Is he a businessman? Here's a typical businessman. Are you the man we're looking for? No. Mr. Mechanic, could you be our man? No? Well, all right. I was only asking. Let's see. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, uh, the butcher. Hey, butcher, give me a pound of round ground, uh, ground, uh, <laughs> oh, skip it. Are you Mr. Anybody? No. Ah, Mr. Two Willinger, my old zoology teacher. Say, Mr. Two Willinger, could you be Mr. Anybody? No, Mr. Two Willinger, you ain't even close. The businessman, the mechanic, the butcher boy, Mr. Two Willinger, put them all together. No, they don't spell mother, they spell, ah, everything is going wrong. What gives out, what goes on, what's the matter? Let's get together. Hey, who is this coming from all these drivers? Could you be any driver, anybody, by any chance, Mr. Anybody? Okay, Mr. Anybody, thank goodness I found you. Well, now that I found you, just go on your merry way. Make like I'm not following you. But I'm going to watch you and see how you drive. Here we go, merrily on our way. Hey, look out, Mr. Anybody. Don't pull out like that without looking back or holding out your hand. Oh, it doesn't bother you. Such manners. <laughs> a screwdriver, that's what you are, a screwdriver. Why don't you hold out your hand? Why don't you look before you pull out? See what happened. Look what you've done. <laughs> if you only knew how you look to other people. Oh, you don't care. You didn't get hurt. So it's a screwdriver you are, Mr. Anybody. My, my, ain't you ashamed? Well, Mr. Anybody, so you're not always screwy. Sometimes you act almost like a gentleman. Where are you going now? Oh, a phone call. Look out, who's this? An early shopper for next Christmas. Look out, little lambkins. <laughs> ah, such a polite Mr. Anybody and such manners, but such differences from your driving manners. He picked up the package for the busy shopper. That's Mama's polite little gentleman, but don't forget the phone. Hello, Mama. Bring home what? A pound of round ground, ground uh, ten pounds woody bear, uh, ten, uh, heads of letter, uh, Brussels sprout, uh, apples for the teacher. <laughs> Coming up, Mama, right away. Yeah, yeah, all right, Mama. Yeah, I bring them home. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, here we are on our merry way again. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. If you bring home a bargain, Mama will jig. 
Hey, Papa, there's the market. Don't forget Mama's Rudy Bear, uh, turnips. Where are you going to park? Not there, Papa. That's for going, not for stopping. Oh, Papa, my, my. Only a school driver double parks. No consideration for the other fella. Just look how you've jammed up traffic. And are those drivers mad at you? What's people looking at? You don't know, Papa? Well, you should. You're such a screwdriver. My... <laughs> Mr. Anybody, it's just people like you that make people like me exasper... exasper... <laughs> angry. It's people like you, Mr. Anybody, if you know what I mean. <laughs> What's this? The Hardy family having a Jones dinner. Uh, <laughs> I mean the Jones family having a Hardy dinner. Uh, I mean it's Mr. Anybody, uh, Papa, in his own home. And look how nice he is to Mama's Mama. Now for some home-cooked Rudy beggars. There, I said it. Uh-oh, here comes the brand. I mean, why, Junior, is that nice rushing in like that? You might upset the stew on Mama's dress. Remember, always be a gentleman. Wait for your Papa. Papa, will you give the signal? Yeah, Papa will give the signal now. Wait a minute. No, no. Wait for Papa. Mother? Mother's mother? Yeah? Now. Okay. Oh, but such driving manners. It's Papa out in traffic again. For heaven's sake, Papa, where are you going? Look out where you're going. Look out for your fender. Why don't you look where you're going? Why don't you go where you're looking? Why don't you slow down? My, my, Mr. Anybody, why don't you... Why? Such a weaving in and out. Such an in and out. Half the time he's polite and half the time he's got loud, uh, terrible manners. Say, you look like Junior coming to dinner. What's the idea of rushing like that? Oh, I see. You've got to get somebody there in a hurry. Well? Hey, wait for the signal. You're worse than Junior. Now, look, you got people going and coming. That's the trouble with you, Mr. Anybody. You're gone when you should be stopping, and you're stopping when you should be gone. A pretty kettle of fish. Why don't you wait for the signal? Well, here you are again. Nice work, sport. You made it without a moment's delay. Hurry right over to the hospital for your brother's appendectomy uh, <laughs> operation. So you're not dashing to the hospital. So it's not an emergency. So it's only talk, small talk. Hey, you can't do that. Those guys back there are burning up. Dispositions and gasoline. Who is that guy that just got out of your car? Oh, I see. He's a screwy pedestrian, a screw jay. I might have known it. A screwdriver on foot. I bet you're really a nice fella, too. A careful, considerate man until you get loose on the street. Just a minute, Lou. This is where I come in. Let me at this thoughtless pedestrian, this uh, screw jay. You've handled the screwdriver. <laughs> this fellow's mine. Okay, Don, take him away. And welcome. Take him far, far away. All right, Lou, I'll take him. This fellow represents the thoughtless man on the street. Here's exhibit A. Did you ever see a dream walking? <laughs> well, here's one. A literary screw jay walking right into trouble. And he would really be in trouble if those people didn't have good breaks. Here's another type. He's the spirit of 76 Screw J, independence personified. Sure, he sees the motorist out of the corner of his eye, but who settled this country anyway? He knows his rights and he's going to stick up for them, let the hips fall where they may. Why, he's practically daring those motorists to hit him. Hey, look out! Oh, an official Screw J. This type wants everybody else to go home till he gets through using the streets. All he needs is a tin badge. That is, till he gets hit. Well, at least he knows where he's going. Oh, wait a minute, he's changing his mind. Now he's an open field screw jay. Thinks he's playing football. Watch him crash that line. Oh, he's down. No, he's up. Boy, look how he's throwing traffic for a loss. There he goes, he's in the clear. No, oh, we got him. No, he made it, and he almost makes us wish he hadn't. Cars, cars, thousands of them, every day, everywhere. Traffic problems are really acute. With the increasing number of cars, the need for courtesy on our streets and highways is also becoming increasingly apparent. Screwdrivers and screw jays. 
traffic tangles and snarls. All contributing to a higher cost of transportation, a greater strain on both our nerves and our pocketbooks. But no, it's not entirely hopeless. Progress is being made. Traffic engineers are at work developing new and more efficient roads and highways. Here are some typical scenes showing engineering progress. Bridge approaches. Over and under passes. Boulevard Parkway. Here's an impressive scene of a modern cloverleaf, a fine engineering contribution to eliminate highway congestion. Legislative bodies are also at work, passing and enforcing new and better laws. Mayors, chiefs of police, civic bodies, all are tackling this great problem. One large oil company is vigorously attacking...